team! So today I want to show you guys my figure collection along with my figure boxes. Uh, one, some of my viewers have uh, asked me before what, what I do with the figure boxes because I always show them off in the pickups video but you know I don't show you guys where I put the boxes. Maybe if you follow me on Twitter you've seen how my room looks like other than the part you can see from the videos. But I figured it would be a good time to make a video on the boxes and how I store them and stuff because I haven't done an updated video on figures for a while. Um, there are still some figures that I haven't taken out of the box. Well, not me, my husband. So I won't be showing those. But I'll also be showing you guys my husband's figure collection that he has um, displayed. So everything that's in the box you probably won't be able to see. But he does have uh, some of the figures out, so you'll be seeing that too, along with all the figures I have in the room right now. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with uh, the things I have on my my IKEA shelf, I guess, glass shelf. The details are over there, I will be showing you that one later. So this part hasn't changed that much, I think you always see this on my other videos. But I do have uh, two Pipimi figures from Pop Team Epic. I do have a Jotaro figure. And I do have the Raiden figure from Metal Gear Solid. That's the Gecko one. I put them away because I didn't have space. I need to take them back out. <laughs> I haven't done that. I have a cup. I have the new Nendoroids that I picked up recently of Arrow. And the extra Nendoroid figure I got from Amazon. That was kind of lost. Uh, of what is it? Black Frost? Wait, is it what? Yeah, Black Frost. And I have a figure of a muscular buff Gengar that my husband gave me for Christmas. I also have... Wait, uh, I want to move him. Can't see it because it's reflecting, but it's uh, the boy, transparent boy from Moon. That's still in the box. I did take him out once, but I decided to put him back in because I felt like, you know, it still looks good in the box. It doesn't take that much space. And um, these are not figures, but I have the mini, some of the mini consoles and the plastic models of the mini consoles. And I don't know, this is an accessory stand, both of them. Anyways, so let's open the cabinet. Oh, and I do have the magnet that came with the figure of Moon stuck on there. And honestly, this part has not changed that much. I've added some new Pokemon figures, but it's still a Pokemon shelf. Um, I did get another one, so it's going to be more full. Um, so we have some Nendoroids of Pokemon. Well, that, what is it, Blastoise in English? Came with the Nendoroid. Uh, the one in the middle is the Eevee one from Mega House. Uh, I think the other Gengar one is also from Mega House. Those are Kotobukiya figures. There's Professor Oak. There's some smaller figures in the back. More Nendoroids. This is the newest one. And... And the fat Pikachu that came with the trading card. And the water Pokemon type one from Mega House and the other trainers. And androids of other trainers, red and stuff like that. So Pokemon shelf. I really like Pokemon so I'm happy with this. <laughs> and then lower, the middle shelf has some random stuff that's uh, smaller. So because there's not much space, like the shelf is um, it's not that tall or wide so these are smaller figures i have some part form figures that's gwendolyn from odin sphere we have kirby nendoroid robot nendoroid the regular kirby nendoroid there is uh teddy here is popko she should be with ppb in the box um so i might put her away there is a prize figure of kurama from yu yu hakusho and I guess from Persona 3, there's Catherine from um, Catherine <laughs> that I got for really cheap. There is uh, Hiei from Yu Yu Hakusho, more Yu Yu Hakusho in the back, more Yu Yu Hakusho in the front, <laughs> and some random um, noodle stopper figures. You know, the ones that sits down. For some reason, the Toho one is bigger than the Yu Hakusho ones. Whatever. Some pop-up parades in the back. I might sell that Joker one because it's not like I like it. And another part form in the back of Momohime. Not sure if you can see it. But yeah, these are just random assorted smaller figures. No particular um, reason as to why they're there. Now, on to the bottom. This is a mess because... um. 
My cat got in there when I had it open and knocked the curvy stuff off. But anyways, this is supposed to be more like shonen guy dude stuff. <laughs> so I have the Jojo prize figures in here. Rohan, Rohan in the back, Leo in the front, Star Platinum, Jotaro. Uh, Jorno's back there too. And I have some boxed Nendroids. Uh, you can see Raiden. I do like Raiden. I don't like Metal Gear Solid or Metal Gear. I'm not a fan, but I like Raiden because he's cool. <laughs> I have uh, more Pokemon stuff down here. She sh they shouldn't be here. And um, some acrylic standees that I got in the limited edition for um, Blaze Blue Crawl Stack Battle. I'm not sure if they should be here, but whatever. I have the Waddle the Nendroid box. Some more Teddy stuff and Persona 4 MC. Now I do have the Crystal All Persona 5 Limited Edition that came with the Famitsu Deluxe pack or something like that. And Kirby stuff that's just dead <laughs> lying on the floor. Shouldn't be there, but whatever. I need to organize that better. But this is the first shelf that I have. So overall, just some random stuff other than the Pokemon shelf. I need. I might expand it more because I think I have more Pokemon stuff than anything else right now. And then this is the detail shelf, very famous for from IKEA. Everybody uses it for figures. It's really cheap. I think they brought up the price. It should it used to cost 60, but I don't think it costs that anymore. Anyways, these are some of the Mythos figures. I think I have Wait, how many Mythos figures are there? I think only two are out right now. The third one is up for pre-order. Fourth one is up also for pre-order. So I have both of them pre-ordered. But those are really cool. I also have this figure. This is one of the nicest figures I have. It's really cool. But the base is so ugly. I mean, it's too big. That's all. It's not ugly. But um, yeah, if you don't have space, not very recommended. <laughs> I have some random curvy small figure, trading figures, and this is the Shimami Tensei shelf. Um, not all are figures, but whatever. There's a stainless like tumbler thingy with the Jack Frost Nendroid in there. I have the Black Frost Nendroid. I have the um, uh, Daido. I think it's from Mega House figure. This is the Pyrojack Nendroid. Have some games. I have the 3DS XL Limited Edition. I have the Jack Frost Cup and another Pyro Jack. The trading figures of Jack Frost that I got a while back. I have Pixie Figma. Some acrylic standee from the Limited Edition and the Limited Edition of Strange Journey for the 3DS in the back. And yeah, I have more Shimano Tensei games, but like, I don't know. I just chose those to put in there because I thought it looked nice. And moving down, I still have more Shimano Tensei Persona stuff. This is the big Jack Frost. I put like a ribbon on him because I thought it looked cute, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I also have some soft vinyl figure of Jack Frost and Black Frost is back there. I should move him in front so you can see it, but whatever. Um, I also have Makoto from uh, Dancing, the dancing game, Dancing Star Knight, I think. But this is my husband's figure. I just stole her from him because she deserves better. <laughs> and um, there's a cup for the 35th anniversary of Atlas. There is the limited edition of uh, Shimon Tensei 3 for the Switch and the art book number 9 from uh, Kazuma Kaneko. So yeah, more Shimon Tensei and Atlas stuff here. Uh, on the bottom shelf, there's not much space so I just used <laughs> the space to put away um, the fighter character from Dragon's Crown. He's huge. One, no, he's, he's smaller than one fourth but he's bigger than one fifth. Um, one of the first expensive figures I got. And then I have this um, Dizzy figure because she doesn't fit anywhere else. She's also my husband's figure. She's just sitting there because she has no space with him. <laughs> so I have here uh, sh I was gonna say Shima Tensei, but the Seventh Dragon shelf. Uh, Seventh Dragon is one of my favorite series, so I decided to collect figures for it. I don't have all of them, but these are most of the ones that I've wanted from the beginning, so I'm really happy. 
Uh, my favorite is probably the blue samurai and the regular samurai, but this one from Flair. I think the other ones are from Max Factory, so they are different manufacturers. And I also have the cat, Mega Cat collection figures, trading figures from uh, Mega House, which are, I think these are the One Piece ones. And we also have the Sailor Moon ones. Very cute. Moving down, I have more like, I guess, Vanillaware stuff. Not all of them, but some of them or most of them are either Alter or Vanillaware. So moving on, um, this is from 13 Sentinel. Uh, we also have the characters from Muramasa, boobies, booties, and a lot of skin. <laughs> um, we also have this cat, cat girl figure from uh, Mythos, which is pretty cool. I don't really like it that much. I mean, from far away I like it, but close up I don't. I might tell that. Uh, Momohime figure from Muramasa. I have the last exile figures from Alter. And my voice. Um, I have some Odin Sphere figures. Alice from Odin Sphere is one of my favorites, but she's kind of getting lost in between all the bigger, bigger figures. I also have Nekomata from Odin Sphere. I mean, not Odin Sphere, Muramasa. So, yeah, lots of uh, nice quality figures here. One of my favorite stuff. Things. <laughs> one of my favorite shelves, I guess. And then moving on, I also have random figures down here that I don't know how to organize yet. I have um, Budo from Muse Dash. I really like this figure. It's very simple, but it's very cute. I have the Witch from Witch on the Hundred Nights. These are both really cool figures, but I don't like them that much because her hat is so big that you can't really see what's going on <laughs> unless you put her on top on the top shelf or something. Here is the new Nandroid of Nanachi that I just got, along with the Bondroot. And more Nanachi figures. Uh, this one's from Q's Q. Fishing, I think this is the best made one, also because it's bigger. The Kotobukiya one was recently on sale for like 50 bucks, so I picked her up. I have a Toho figure in the back. That's the alternate color edition. I also have Chiaki from Danganronpa, One Fourth Bunny. And another Chiaki, which just got re-released, so I decided to pick her up. Really cool. This one is from a series. Uh, I watched the manga, I thought it was cute, so I decided to pick up the figure. And this character is, I think, Muramasa. <laughs> and she's from a hentai game. But I really like the character design, so I decided to pick her up. She's from a hentai game, you can actually take off her clothes. Nice. Anyways, moving on. This is the bottom shelf. I'm having uh, trouble ex accessing it because there's not much space. But uh, this is random. Uh, this is just some random game gaming stuff figures. Yeah, I have Aegis from uh, Persona 3 and Maid's clothing, which is really cool. I have the main character from Batsupaku Matsu Rock, Ryoma Sakamoto. I have the character from Kantai Collection. I have Lilith from Vampire Savior or Va Dark Darkstalkers, I think in English. I have uh, Elfelt Valentine from Guilty Gear. I have uh, that girl <laughs> near uh, Automata 2B. And I also have Ara from Madomonogatari or Puyo Puyo, but it's based on an older design. Madomonogatari and another figure of Tohu and another figure down back there of, uh, what's the name? Wixos? Yeah, trading card game. Now, um, I do have other stuff like here in the shelf, smaller stuff like Persona Curry stuff. I also have these, uh, Mega Cat collection soft vinyl figures of Naruto or Nyaruto, which are very cute on my desk. And I also have the one four scale 13 Sentinel figure on my desk because she doesn't fit anywhere, unfortunately. So this is my husband's collection, so I don't go in here unless he asks me to clean his damn figures. Anyways, um, so the lighting is weird because it's my living room and it's like yellow, sorry. But um, this is just random like cat girl 
Yeah, I guess. He likes a uh, black magician girl, as you can tell. And he also likes the Neko Bar characters. He likes cat girls. Um, you can see the cat girl from Tales of Hearts. Oh no, sorry, not Tales of Hearts. I forgot the name of the game. Anyways, uh, you, you can see the... What, it, what, it, what was her name? Sega Saturn girl from Sega Saturn. And things like that. Also, in the second shelf, he has Megumin, bunny girl version. He also has the other one, aqua one, but she doesn't fit, so she's in the box, unfortunately. He also bought the Berserk figure, the action figure that's really big. He's just squatting down because he doesn't fit standing up. He has Hatsune Miku in the back, more Nekopara figures, and Noel from Blade Blue. Um, a random figure back in there from, I don't remember the name of the game or the series, sorry. And then third down, he has smaller figures. Um, very bad lighting, but I hope you can see it. Um, this is, uh, what was the name of the game, the series? I forgot, this was an anime series, but I got him this figure for a uh, birthday, I think. And smaller Capcom figures, Lilith, um, what's her name? Ibuki, Devilot, two Devilots, Chun Li, Jin, etc. And that character from Gantz, um, another character from, I mean, the same character from Gantz, different figure, random figures of Evangelion and stuff. Oh, there's um, a character from Maria from Symphony of the Night. And then the lowest shelf you can see random figures also. <laughs> Just girl figures, mostly Miku, Ram Ram, Evangelion, um, Dead or Alive, and Idol Master, things like that. Some of the figures are prize figures, others are not. And, um, his boxes are just like this. Some of the figures still have the box. I mean, the, some of the boxes still have the figures in them, but you can see that some of the pop-up parade figures he has not opened. So he has Aqua and Megumin in box still. And the others are just empty boxes. He also has uh, the Amiibos on top of these shelves where we keep stuff. <laughs> stuff, I'm not gonna say what. Um, yeah, and that's like that all the way across the shelf. Oh, but these amiibos are mine actually. These uh, Animal Crossing ones are my amiibos. Mine! Mine! Yes. And then if you come down, you, you can see he has some amiibos and random stuff in there too, but whatever. Uh, he still has some figures all the way across like in these um, shelves. Uh, you can see he has Lucky Star, he has Toho, he has, oh wait, that one's mine too, that uh, that Final Fantasy one. He has another Lucky Star one, the cat figure, cat girl figure, and, and this one was a gift from me to him for whatever, I don't remember if it was Christmas or birthday a few years ago. This is from Robot, no, was it Robotech? No, um, uh, Mospida, yeah. And you can transform the bike and the guy into a robot and stuff, it's really cool really cool and he also has some figures here this is from ReZero in um uniform and um also i have some of my stuff on here figures this is gacha pin one of the first net droids i got and wait these are not oh there's another toho figure another street fighter figure this was in the limited edition and there's uh what's her name she shouldn't be saying like that, but whatever. And there's another Miku figure, and that's about it. Oh, and I have this random figure just sitting out here because I don't know where to put her. But uh, I do have boxes now that I'm done showing you guys what's outside. Boxes. So I have this room, but lots of room. Like the room is high up, like the roof is high up. So I have lots of headspace. So my husband put this um this thing across where you put the curtain because there's a big window on the lower end so he decided to put this for me and i decided to put all the boxes across the room <laughs> across this uh curtain thingy curtain rail so you can see lots of boxes 
And then he helped me make, or he made me the shelf that goes on the wall. So you can see it's filled with boxes. <laughs> can you imagine if we had a earthquake? Good thing we don't have that here. Um, everything would be on the floor and I'd be very pissed. So yeah, you can see all the boxes for all the figures. And most of the figures I get with boxes unless I get them used sometimes. I really don't care if it doesn't come with the boxes, but I won't throw it away if it does come with the box. So most everything I own and my husband owns uh, is here. For example, the Mospita one is right there. You can see the Nero one, Pokemon, Seventh Dragon, everything is there. And I do have some other boxes here, like the Pop Team Mepic one. And other figures are still in their box because I took them out, but I decided to put them back in. If I didn't like them or if I want to switch them out, I kind of keep some in the box. And I also have this um, table right next to my arcade, my arcade machine thingy. So I decided to put figure boxes on here because it looked very messy. I just put a blanket over the table, ugly table, and put some boxes because it doesn't fit where I'm putting all my boxes. <laughs> so you can see some of the boxes that are bigger or didn't fit or that are newer here. Then this is random. Yeah. Cute bottle D. So what did you guys think? Um, it's uh, pretty messy, honestly. I don't like what the figure displays look like because they're not well organized and there's not much room. I wish I had more room to get more furniture or uh, shelves so that there were more, there was more space between the, each of the figures and I could organize better. But uh, for now, that's how I have them. Um, it's better than leaving everything in the box. That's why I try to cram everything in the shelves because if you leave like figures in the box for a long, long time, they tend to get sticky and stuff and you need to be cleaning them frequently or at least open them up so that it can air and I don't want to do that so for me it's just easier and better if I can just leave them out but I also don't want them leaving like I don't want them outside of the shelf because you still have to clean them I mean I do clean figures every now and then but it's not as often as if I would have to do if I left them outside of the shelves so that's why everything is crammed <laughs> but if we move or if I get another uh, shelf uh, I'll probably organize them a little bit better and I'll give you guys an update on that when it happens. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys thought and let me know how you guys store your figures and your uh, boxes in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!